We decided to get an automatic chicken coop door, and I think the ladies love it. Look at this thing, isn't it so cool? Now we don't have to let the chickens out in the morning right away, and we don't have to worry about shutting the door super late at night. Of course, we still have to come down the hill to check for eggs, but that was the most exciting part anyways. Now I don't have to feel guilty that they're not out right away in the morning. And I was able to set a timer or let it have a sensor to open. Our rooster has been picking on one of the ladies, picking all the feathers out of the back of her head. So we had him in here all by himself for a little while and now we're letting him out. Hopefully he'll be good. Let's see how many eggs we've got today. There's a few broody hens in here. They definitely didn't wait long to get broody in this nice warm weather. And of course our first to go was the silky girl. We've got some plants here on the side of our house. We got a couple of sunflowers, watermelon, zucchini, some tulips, and cauliflower. And at the very end, I think those are tomatoes. Those are the blackberries. They might to sour right now. That's right, I can't wait until they turn purple. This little guy needed some help standing up straight. And this one too, it grew tall too quick. We've been collecting our eggshells for a little while and we decided to bake them, crush them, and share them with the garden and the chickens. This way, it gives them a little bit more calcium to make more eggs. I went ahead and decided to transplant my spinach. Earlier, I set up all of the romaine. These are on a shadier side of the house, so hopefully they'll last a little bit through the summer and not get too hot. I have a little miniature garden shovel but sometimes I can't find it and I just use whatever I can have close to me. This little place sword was the choice of tool for today. I'd say it worked pretty good too. Got the job done.
All done for now. This is a pretty good food setup if you're trying to feed crickets too. For some reason the spinach in the corner didn't make it. It's always such a relief cleaning out the chicken coop. Look how nice it looks. Won't last long though. My potato plant has made a lot of progress. It's got a lot of leaves on it now. I made this little ramp in the corner because a lizard keeps getting stuck in here and I'm hoping it can climb out. I may have planted my plants in the ground a little too early because it's going to get some frost tonight. I had used some pots and tubs upside down to try and keep them safe and it worked out. Now I got to think about what I'm going to do with these ones. I put up some shovels and a sheet and it was good to go. More broody hens. There's so many, they have to share a box. And that black and white one's a mean one. She's not nice like the silky girl. And on the other side. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.